Hey, welcome back to From the Tech Desk by RC Experts here at Hobby. I'm your host, Brad Brooker. In today's video, I'm going to show you what it takes to install electronics in your Arma 6S vehicle. So before we get started, we need a couple items. You'll need a 2.5, a 2.0, or a speed driver. Now let's get started. We'll start by installing the motor into the vehicle. Uh, you'll want to remove the two motor mount screws on top here for the motor mount first. Once you get those removed, go ahead and slide the motor mount off. This motor mount here will actually go on the motor itself. You'll also want to grab the two motor mount screws as well out of the bag that comes with the kit. So grab those and you'll need some Loctite. You'll have a little dab of Loctite on those uh, just to make sure they don't come loose. So go do that now. Go ahead and install the screws. You also want to line the motor mount correctly on the motor so you have it on the right direction. We do now. Once you have the mount installed to the uh, motor itself, go and slide it on the motor mount on the vehicle. You'll also want to install the two screws that you took off previously. Uh, don't tighten them, just put them in there in place. Next, we'll install the pinion. We actually went with a safe D version uh, from Arma. So go install it. And also with the set screw, you'll want to put a little dab of Loctite on that as well. So let's go and do that first. Put it back on. We'll slide over the motor itself. Once you get it lined up with the spur gear, you can go and tighten everything down. We'll go and install the E-clip as well. Once you have that set, now you go do the gear mesh. Once you have the gear mesh set correctly, go and tighten everything up. Once you have everything tightened up, now let's go ahead and install the ESC. When it comes time to install the ESC, one nice feature, the firmware 150 amp ESCs are made to fit in the Arma 6S vehicles. Uh, so you just gotta remove the three screws that come mounted on the ESC mount already, uh, straight from the factory. So you remove those three screws. Once you get the screws removed, you actually use the mounting tabs on the ESC to mount the ESC itself to the actual mounting plate on the 6S vehicle. So get that in place there. Go ahead and put the screws back in. Once you get those two done, we'll go ahead and mount the switch as well. So when installing the switch screw, it is a little bit shorter than the other two, so please watch out for that. Installing that, let's get the switch installed. Once you have the switch mounted, it's going to plug your wires in and also put them in the correct color as well. And once you're done, you can put them in the wire loom down here next to the motor and ESC. which cleans it up quite nicely. Once you have that all buttoned up, now it's time to install the servo. Now it's time to install the servo. A few things I want to touch on before we get started with the servo is the servo horn itself is a 23 tooth. Uh, if you're running something else, you may look at getting a different servo horn. Also, the hardware is already on the vehicle here for the EXB, so we're gonna remove that. It's a two millimeter screw. So let's go to those removed.
So once you got those removed, you'll see you also have some spacers that come with it. You'll want to run one of the spacers for this servo here. Uh, depending on what servo you run, depends on how many spacers you will need. So please make sure you look at that so the chassis is not hitting the actual servo itself. So like I said, we'll run one of the spacers. Go install the servo. And make sure you put it in correctly with the servo horn itself, uh, the orientation of this. So please look at that before installing it so you don't do it twice. We'll go and install the spacers underneath the servo. Once you have the spacers installed, you're going to put your mounting screws in. Go ahead and install the servo horn. The screw for the servo horn actually comes with the kit as well. Uh, it's in the same bag as the motor mount screws for the motor itself. So you want to grab that. Get it all installed here. Once you have a servo mounted and a servo horn on the servo, now it's going to get the receiver ready. So when it comes time to install the receiver, you'll remove the four screws that hold the receiver box cover on. Also during this time, you want to make sure the servo and ESC leads are underneath the center brace and center dry shafts themselves uh, so they don't get damaged. Now let's get started doing that. When you run the ESC and servo leads, please make sure you put them through the rubber boot on the receiver box to keep everything nice and watertight. Also, when it comes time to plug the leads into the receiver itself, please make sure you plug them in the correct spot. So steering is channel one. Let's get this plugged in and also the correct polarity. Your ESC is channel two. There we go. Any excess wire, we'll just kind of run in the receiver box. Also, you want to run the antenna lead outside the receiver box. So go do that as well as we're getting everything all nice and tidy. Once all the wires are in the receiver box, put the receiver box lid back on. Next, we'll go and run the antenna through the antenna tube itself. There you have it. So you install the electronics here on Arma's success platform. Also, allow yourself a couple of short period runs just to make sure everything's getting nice and cool and nothing's getting overheated. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and videos from RC Experts Horizon Hobby.